channel groups are available under the network tile. To access the channel groups, click on channel groups on the left hand side and click search. Channel groups are any channel groups or trunk groups or gateways or trunk access codes that have been configured on your PBX and have made a call and therefore output CDR. You can look at all your channel groups by coming into the grid stage. You can click on the three lines here to show or hide columns. And you can enable or disable columns by simply ticking the boxes here or unselecting columns by selecting the options here. Once you're happy with your column selections, you can then come through here and you can filter on a particular column to return the value set. To remove any filters, simply click on the clear filter option here. If you add any new channel groups, trunk groups, or TAC codes to the phone system, they will automatically get learned into this list here. You will then simply need to configure these by clicking on the three lines on the left hand side, then clicking the edit button in the top right hand corner here, and then filling in any information that is required. So you will need to populate a description, choose the signal type, if it is an analog line or a digital line. You can populate a serial number. You can also specify the line type. So if it's a voice over IP line, you can select voice over IP. You can then select duration type. This will only ever need to be off hook to on hook if it's an old analog line. Otherwise, digital lines will use true connection time. There is then device. This is the device name or trunk access code or trunk group name. Please do not change this setting because changing this setting may have a big impact on the system. You then need to specify which country that the device is in or channel group is in. And then the location within that country. You can then specify which cost carrier that the line is plugged into. Followed by the tariff. You can also do this on the bill carrier if required. You can also then set how many channels are available. This is important when looking at utilization. If this line is an ISDN 30 and you have all 30 channels available, then you'll need to set this available channels to 30. If it's a SIP line, you may need to ask the SIP provider how many concurrent calls are available on that SIP line. Once they can tell you how many concurrent calls are available, simply then type in this number and then this will give you concurrency on this channel group. You could then also fill in the bandwidth. Again, if it is a SIP line, you can type in how many megabytes the line can handle. You may then have some custom fields here that you may want to populate with information. To create custom fields, simply go to equipment custom fields on the bottom left here of network, go to channel groups, Click on the edit button in the top right hand corner. You can then click on the I here and give the custom field a name. You can then reorder these as well. Just simply drag and drop to reorder these. Once you're happy with the names, click save. And when you go back to your channel groups, you will now see that item is now available and you can populate this with the information. Once you have configured all of these groups, in the search here, you have the ability to export the information to CSV and Excel. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if there is anything else you would like to learn about Tiger Prism and its other modules, please visit www.tigercoms.com for more tutorials and information.